Okay, I thought I'd do a quick video. Seems like there's a lot of confusion on these connectors for some reason or another. Um, so these are the connectors that are used in pretty much all the BMWs um, and uh, some Corvettes. Uh, it's called an EV1 connector. Uh, so the factory ones come in, in a couple different uh, formats. This this is how ours all come. So this plastic clip does not need to be removed. In fact, if you remove it, it will probably break the connector. All you do on these is you push in. That releases it. That's it. And when you're installing them, a lot of times you don't even need to push in. You just push the connector onto the injector. And it will clip together. So unfortunately, I'm trying to film this by myself, a little hard to show you that. If you just get the, <clears throat> get the mail in in there and you push, you can hear it click. You didn't even have to push on that. That's all there is to it. And to release them, a lot of the factory ones have this. You just push on it. And so it's a little hard with one hand here. It'll pull right out. All I was doing was pushing while I pulled that out. There's no reason to pry or pull this. You just literally push in and slide it off. That's all there is to it. And you can see when you push in, see these metal tabs? Those will hold on the injector or on the receiving plug on these ears here. So what happens is when you push the tab down, why am I found having such trouble? Push the tab down, and that gets it out of the way so it's not locked anymore. On the BMW factory ones, there is no tab. But those ones literally just pull off. Don't touch the metal clip. Just pull back on it gently, and it'll come right off. And those ones don't lock. They're just uh, kind of like a spring retainer. <clears throat> so, But on the GM ones, and then on our harnesses in particular, you just push to release. That's all there is to it. 